Hey folks, I'm Mike. Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this blog ad free. Hello folks, this is Mike and I am back from vacation uh, and when I walked in the door there was a pile of packages. Most of these are nail polish for Audrey, but one of them was for me. Uh, this is from Gold Spot. This is their new pen and ink day fountain pen gift set. Uh, these go for $49.99 and uh, I believe they are free shipping on these guys. Yep, free shipping. Uh, and there are a few left. I talked to Tom over at Gold Spot about this. I didn't want to film this uh, this unboxing until like people had gotten a chance to get them and all that kind of thing. I didn't want to spoil a surprise. So if you haven't looked at it yet, don't watch the rest of this video. Uh, click away uh, and go get one. Uh, and, uh, you know, there you go. If you want to see what's in here, cool. Keep watching because we're going to see. Uh, this is a cool packaging. I like this bright silver envelope. It's much nicer than the, you know, the regular craft papery sort of one. It's got a little gold spot sticker. Um, all right. So there we go. Open this guy up. New pocket knife, by the way. Benchmade Contigo. I love this thing. Just got this a little bit ago. All right. Oh, it's not just taped. <laughs> it's also stuck. All right, there we go. Uh, it's not going to come loose in shipping. If yours came loose in shipping, I don't know how, because this was pretty tough. All right, let's, let's see what's in here. Uh, I got it all. I do. All right, so it's a fun box. That's a nice box. This actually reminds me... Kind of the, does it open the front? Oh, it does. It's like a nice magnet closure box. So you get on nice fountain pens. All right. I don't know what's in here, but as far as I know, this box um, is a result of some of the the comments and that sort of thing that they got on their last um, their last box in the spring uh, where it didn't have fountain pen stuff in it really. It was kind of, they were trying to do a mix of all the things. So it had pens, it, has pen, it had like regular pen, it had fountain pen ink, it had... Uh, pencils, like all paper, all kinds of stuff. And I think they kind of missed the market a little bit. And people, everybody was kind of like, well, this is, there's a bunch of stuff here I won't use. Uh, because no matter which part of the market in, very few people are actually in all of the market. So I think this is a response to that. And it's going to be just fountain pen stuff. I'm not sure what's in here, but since it's new pen and ink day, I'm hoping it's new pen and ink. Uh, let's see, we have a bookmark here about, uh, oh, 10% on any Laban pen using Lab, uh, La Bookmark. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, Laban pens are actually very nice. All right, let's see what's on this. Happy New Pen and Ink Day. Well, I don't want to see that. It's got descriptions of all the things. What's this? Uh, this has got my address on it, so I'm not going to show you for. I'm not going to show you this. But there we go. All right, let's put that aside. All right, let's see what's in this guy right here. Dun dun dun. All right, we got a pen and a bunch of inks. Oh, and they're all like fitted into this nice felt foam tray. That's kind of rad, actually. Nice. Oh, and a bunch of Colorverse uh, ink samples. Well, nobody's going to hate that. All right, let's, let's zoom in a little bit here. Uh, so we have up here Colorverse Quasar. Let me get these out of here. And it looks like none of these leaked, which is very nice. Uh, these are nice, nice big ink samples. Quasar is a blue. I don't have that one yet. The Colorverse String. Eh. Come out. There we go. Which looks like it's kind of a... Kind of a... I don't know, orangish maybe? It looks cool. Space Leica, which is a brown, I believe. I don't have that one either. I actually don't have any of these. I might have Schrodinger. No, I don't have Schrodinger, so that's cool. It's like a nice teal, it looks like. Uh, that's Gravity Wave. Schrodinger is a nice uh, dark green. All right, cool. And this pen. Interesting. Let's see what this is. How do I open this? There we go. This is... A pen I'm not familiar with, actually. Oh, it's a pen BBS, interestingly. And it is the... All right, this is the 309, it appears. Pen BBS 309. It's a piston filler. Let's unscrew this. Pin finish on this pen, not bad. Um, some people are going to be uh, irritated by this uh, see-through section. I'm not one of them. I kind of like that. But um, those of you who are out there making pens... Uh, a lot of people comment that they're not really, they're not really sure how this um, this works. Like they'll see ink around inside the section, be like, "Oh no, is my pen broken?" No, your pen's supposed to have ink in there. Otherwise, ink wouldn't be getting to the nib. Uh, the nib is 
Uh, fine. Sorry, I'm going to lean real close in here because there's not much room. Uh, this looks like uh, this looks like a pretty nice little pin, actually. Not bad. Let's see how the piston works. Yeah, all right. Seems good. Seems good. Seems like a decent piston here. Oh, interesting. What happens if I keep turning? I don't, know. I don't want to mess it up too much right now. I'll probably disassemble this and all that kind of stuff later. Ah, oh, okay. I bet if I keep turning, I can take this off and then disassemble this whole thing. Uh, but yeah, seems like it works fine. Looks nice. It's got got a nice uh, nice color scheme going on here with a sort of, I don't know, bronze and green. It's a very interesting sort of color. All right, let's look at the documentations here. And I, I really do dig this uh, this box they did with these holes for these five ink samples and then the pen. So let's see. Open this guy up. You've done it. You've taken the jump into the unknown to explore the growing landscape of the pin world. Hopefully the contents of this box represent the start of something new and exciting for you. Or it might stoke the fire that burns for putting pen to paper. This is a pin BBS 309 fountain pen imported from China. Um, built for a community of pin enthusiasts by pen enthusiasts. The internal piston fill mechanism accepts a large capacity of bottled ink into the barrel of the pen. The acrylic cap section and blind cap add colorful accents to the clear demonstrator body of this pen. Well, it's all kind of the same color. Fitted with a stainless steel nib and fine point. Yeah, fine point's a good safe one. I'm glad they went fine. Medium is kind of the thing I think most people go with, but I think nobody's going to be mad about a fine pen, uh, fine point nib. Uh, oh, it's got instructions for how to use the, the pen. Uh, two methods for filling it, which is interesting. Unscrew this bit, use an eyedropper. Oh, you can unscrew the grip. Let's see how this section comes off right quick. I like taking things apart, so, you know. Yeah, all right. Seems good. Let's see if there's any grease or anything on these threads. It feels like it might be a little bit greased. You know, you just kind of have that feeling. Oh, it's not greased. Actually, it's got an O-ring. All right, cool. Yes, yeah, so there is a, a little silicone O-ring here at the bottom of the section to keep your ink from coming out the front of your pen when you don't want it to. All right. Yeah, that's a good option. Uh, it lets you have slightly l uh, lower uh, manufacturing tolerances without having to grease things or whatever while still like getting that seal. So that's good. All right. Um, so how to fill it, colorverse inks. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and they um, says they curated the set of colors to complement the pen's acrylic colors. So nice. All right. Well, this, I think, is probably worth 50 bucks for you and a nice surprise. Um, I really like the Colorverse inks. I don't think anybody's going to complain about those. I've used a few of these. I haven't gotten a chance to review any yet. I'll have those uh, being reviewed soon. Uh, soon, TM, because uh, I've got the DC Pen Show coming up. Uh, I have a little something of my own that I'm cooking up here. Uh, I've got some interview, uh, not interviews. I've got some uh, some reviews that need to be get done soon. So uh, I'm going to be reviewing stuff this week. I will be back in action. Uh, thanks, y'all, for hanging in with me while I was sort of uh, in the dumps about my good buddy Jim Rouse's uh, sudden de sudden death, and then uh, I was on vacation a bit. The vacation was hugely helpful to just sort of get away from all this uh, everything and decompress for a while. Um, uh, so thanks for hanging in with me, and uh, I will be seeing y'all soon. Uh, I'll probably be doing live videos a couple of times this week, uh, you know, to make up for other stuff and all that sort of jazz. So uh, I will see y'all in the next video, and until later, peace out.